And today I'm coming to you not from SoCal. This is not El Segundo Beach. This is actually Walvis Bay, where I'm at today. Focus, man. So my food has arrived over here. I've got some french fries. I've got a little bit of coleslaw. I've got mussels. I've got, what are these, calamari. And got the hockey fish, which is the filet right here. I've got some prawns. And then I got some clams. So I pretty much got a taste of everything that comes out of the ocean all on one plate here. So. Hopefully it looks as good as it tastes. We're about to find out. I'll start off with the fries because I don't want those to get cold. Mm. I'm gonna try this calamari now. Mm. It's solid, very good. Mm. Let's see what these clams are working with. So the clams come in this sauce. Looks a little bit spicy, like tangy, not spicy spicy. Okay, that's pretty good. And we got that same sauce on the prawns. So I'm gonna try one of these prawns. Nice and soft. And then the last thing, we're gonna try this filet. Get that lemon on there. <clears throat> All right. Very nice, very nice. Not bad. It could use a little bit more salt though. So I'm gonna add some salt and then I'm gonna finish everything up. Hit that like button. I'm putting in work out here. Right, I swear. So we're coming up now to Independence Beach. This is the biggest beach here in the city of Walvis Bay. And right now it looks like a sandstorm. There's just so much sand that's been kicked up here. Woo. This right here. All right, so we made it. We out here. We at the blackest beach around. We're at the blackest beach I've been to so far in Africa. I've been to some beaches in Madagascar, but they're not black like this. This is some real, feel like I'm at home type black. It's a whole nother level. So dig it like a shovel. See, I don't think y'all understand right now. This wind is no joke. The sand is actually coming up and it's getting more too. But hey, we made it. We out here on the coast.
what's happening everybody once again this is your guy Jay Focus reminding you to stay focused today I'm coming to you not from SoCal this is not El Segundo Beach this is actually Walvis Bay where I'm at today I'm not trying to rhyme but I don't know how to find a way it's just coming to me naturally so I want to show you guys a little bit of what this looks like and I promise no more rhyming because that was really bad but I don't know I just feel it you know the sun the vibes everything is it's put me in that in that mind frame like I'm back in the States so one thing I've noticed is that here the culture is very similar you know uh, the way the division and the segregation is in some ways it's worse here and in some ways it's worse in the states now here in particular I have not seen a single uh, non-black person at this beach you know what I'm saying and I don't think that's an accident I feel like there's got to be a reason a way it was set up like this going way back to uh, you know the independence this is called Independence Beach and there you have it right um, where I was just coming from was the harbor area where there are some restaurants and things and that area is almost the opposite you will see a couple black folks but they're usually the ones that are working in the kitchens maybe if you're lucky you might be on the wait staff but even for that you, you pretty much got to be light-skinned or mixed or whatever so yeah man it's uh it's a little bit disappointing but it kind of is what it is at least black folks do have a spot here where they can uh just be themselves they can enjoy they don't have any outside scrutiny from what i see i don't see any heavy uh police or state presence here it's just people enjoying themselves and having a good time on a sunday so i'm happy to see it man uh and unlike the other beaches I've been to, in Madagascar, for example, I can actually understand people here. <laughs> of course, they have their own languages, but I could stop and chop it up with anybody uh, that I want to if I have questions or, you know, just want to have some type of a combo. And you don't know how much you take that for granted until you don't have that. So I'm going to give you guys another shot of the beach. So y'all have to just look at me. A lot of folks out here. And it seems like the wind has calmed down a little bit. Because when I was on the way here, it was just ridiculous the amount of wind and sand like just flying in your face. I, there's no way I would be able to do any type of a video like this uh, just because the sound, and not only, not only the sound, but also the fact that like relentless the sand just smashing my face and whatnot so I'm glad it calmed down and it seems like people are still arriving it's still relatively early here it's about four o'clock and I think we'll have the sun out here till at least 7 30 because it's the summertime so I don't think it's even peaked yet and it's just a vibe. A lot of people chilling. They got their cars out here. They got their music going. And they're just having a good experience. Enjoying family. I see people got their drink. I see they, they got their bottles out here. And it seems like it's all tolerated. Everybody got their music too. <laughs> Yo, this thing is a life that's better than y'all. Focus, man.